this car hasn't moved in three years and I'm going to be restoring it to its former glory, but it's raining, so let's get on with it. This is my neighbour's car and we are going to try and get it started, fix any issues with it, clean it all up, get it through an MOT and back on the road so he could drive and renew his licence when he turns 70 in one week's time. So time is ticking, let's try and get this car started. We got the beast here to charge its battery up, the alarm just went off which is very embarrassing. So it looks like I'm robbing a car, what can you do? I'm going to give it a little bit to charge, we have got power so first things first gotta check it's got coolant yeah don't really see it but there's definitely coolant in there and we've got oil absolute nightmare so far alarm's gone off doors won't open let's give this puppy a go gears in come on got power oh it's moving as you can see there we've not got a lot of fuel but we have got fuel i've been giving it the good old rev the box off my beamer Try and get it sorted. Turbo duck approves. You Korean beast. I think the battery might not be holding anything. But... So it's day two of trying to sort this car out. I've just gone to Halfords, got a new battery, because yesterday, as soon as I took the jump cables off, the battery held absolutely no charge. So I think it's, I think it's shagged. And I got some fuel as well. I'm also armed with a hammer. That is going to need a clean. When I reach a thousand subscribers to say thanks to you guys for all the support, I'll be giving away a brand new quarter inch Delta socket set to one of you. So get subscribed if you're not already. That's good. You might not be able to sell, but I really am hopeful this time. Let's go. Key in. Ignition. Yeah, <laughs> that is the first time in three years that this car has started. Bit of fuel, new battery, first crank, running great. Look at that, I'm absolutely over the moon. Look at that. I'm gonna pump the tires up and I will get it round the corner back to my house. <laughs> I am over the moon. It's running sweet, sounds great. So the next issue is let's see if it moves because obviously it's been stood, the brakes are definitely gonna be seized. I don't know if you can hear that. The brakes are definitely um, sticking. Holy I can't see a thing. God damn. But yeah, so this is actually my neighbor's car. He was looking for someone to get it back roadworthy for him, but he was worried that he was gonna get ripped off and all sorts. So I heard about this and I thought, well, let's get it on the channel. I'm sure it's something you guys would like to see. And I am over the moon that this car is now on the driveway. And with all the tire pressures up to 32, we can get on with cleaning this car. It's gonna be a satisfying clean. But speaking of tire pressures, I am gonna be doing a video on if your tire pressure affects your zero to 60 time. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, and I'll definitely make that shortly. Let's get cleaning. I always start with the wheels when I'm cleaning the car. I'll be leaving the link to all of the chemicals that I'm using in the description of the video. And this is Pro Clean's Dragon's Blood Extreme Wheel Cleaner. Next step is always snow foam, so I'll cover all the wheel arches and the rest of the body in the stuff. Today I'm using Built Hamber Auto Foam, which is a really great product. I'll get into the nooks and crannies with a really soft bristled brush to dislodge some of that three years worth of dirt and grime before going at it with a contact lock to reduce the chances of any scratches. As you can see, this snow foam pre-wash has done a great job on loosening all the heavy dirt on the car and it's getting blasted straight off with a little bit of a jet wash.
finally onto the washing and I'm going to start from the top down. So here I'm using Maguire's car shampoo. It's a bit on the expensive side, but it's a very, very good product. I'll be using turtle wax glass cleaner with two microfiber cloths. Make sure you keep them clean and this process will always work. So this is the car clean. It looks fantastic. It looks like it belongs on someone's drive now, not the bottom of the ocean. So I'm happy. I did notice when I was cleaning it that the wiper blades are all perished. They're absolutely shagged. So I'm going to go pick some of those up, whack them on and then We'll just have to see if it passes its MOT and I can give it back to the owner. So, fingers crossed guys. Unfortunately, my neighbour didn't want to be on camera, which is completely understandable and fair enough, but it means I haven't got a reaction from me giving him the car back, so you'll have to take this video instead. But I have got a car flip video coming very shortly. I've filmed it, I can't wait to get that out. It was the most profit I've ever made flipping a car, and I did it with my friend. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to be entered in for the chance to win that beautiful Deltec quarter inch tool set that I use in pretty much every video. So handy, but take it easy.